Hi everyone, this is David and I'm here to report that the burning preview window is much much better. So I've been doing this burning preview window for the beta and we are in subtitle edit 3.6.13 next beta 162 and I'm happy to report that some of the few changes that I've requested uh, via github have been applied so the font size was not changing as well as the opaque box was not showing that has been improved and it's available and then i requested for three more additions uh, to be able to change the color of the opaque box and then i had to be able to change the color of the fonts that we change uh, because obviously if you choose let's say an opaque box that has a different color uh, you need something that is actually going to be contrasting or whatever and then to be able uh, to have the same player that is for the burning preview window as the interface preview window that's available and finally a maximize button uh, for the preview window so these have been applied uh, which are highly welcome uh, probably the final request I would make is for uh, to be able to kind of reset uh, the opaque and the fonts uh, color so here we are uh, this is the latest version for the beta as I mentioned beta 162 and we can go to video let's open a video file and i'll use the audio to text via whisper and then use const me which is super fast uh click on generate in about five seconds this should be done uh automatic transcription and subtitling and there we have it now uh, this is not probably the most accurate but it does the job so if i play this in this tutorial I'll show you how to add text behind a person. Or so it's a little bit late because behind comes in here. So you'll need to do some few tweaks here and there. But why you're here is to see the new banding preview window. So we're going to go to video, generate video with banding subtitle. And there we have it. We have the new preview. So uh, as I mentioned earlier uh, in other tutorials, uh, subtitle edit this particular preview tends to remember what you had said so i was trying i was trying out the different uh colors here uh to see what really works and then uh to see what works best so you can see that if you change the box color it changes from red to that kind of translucent and then we can bump up the font let's say 100 if you click on enter it changes looks really good so you can see your uh, uh, preview in real time and if i click on this box it's going to maximize this uh, particular option alone and this looks really good you can be able to preview what you, you want to see in real time and take it back when it needs to be uh, so that's really good you can see the font let's, let's see we go up there if you actually scroll down you can see the font change in real time and this is really really awesome because you can be able to see how your subtitles are going to look like once they're done let's go with Arial and uh, if we actually click on this mag uh, maximize looks really good uh, but we might need to bring it a little bit down slightly probably something like 80 uh, that i believe this looks much better yeah this looks much better so uh that's what i wanted to mention here probably one final request is to be able to kind of reset uh the opaque box and the text color to the original or the default that is uh, shipped with subtitle edit but as it is everything looks good when you can actually click on generate and then click on save and let's see what we get uh, from this one i believe it should not take a long time but these are really great improvements to subtitle edit uh, especially this preview window having to click that button that was here was a real hassle but right now being able to see your changes in real time uh, is something that I would say is a very, very big plus, especially for anybody uh, creating open captions or banding uh, subtitles to the video. You can be able to see the changes in real time, see how your subtitles are going to look like, and you can be able to deliver your uh, job or whatever quickly, knowing that what you see here is what you're going to get. So it's almost done. And then let's see containing folder uh, let's see the results double click on it pause it and you can see that what we were seeing is what we get in this tutorial I'll show you how to add text behind a person or moving up as I mentioned there was a slight delay there but all I'm mentioning in this video is that we now have a much much better burning preview window right inside here uh, for us to work with so 
Thanks to Nixe, Nicolaj, that is, uh, for creating an awesome product and always listening to the uh, our input to make some title edit a much uh, needed product. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it's of value to you. Thanks for watching.